Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastdownmedia.co.za I find it very, very prudent to say I'm part of the APSA Ready to Work program. Uh, there was a screening and selection process that took place in trying to identify who could come on board as an ambassador for the program. I was very fortunate to have been selected as one of them. Bokang Monchani forms part of the team and Spoon Gwenya also forms part of the team. I must say I'm very privileged and honored to be part of this program. One, it speaks to some of the issues that we have on the ground and then trying to obviously educate our youth around uh, upskilling, around um, being able to prepare yourself for a work environment. And for me, this program speaks to that. But most importantly, it speaks to around um, entrepreneurial uh, skills that you'd need to go into a work environment. And I think um, I must compliment APSA on this initiative. I think it's a great one. Um, I got approached and it was a definite yes for me, simply because it spoke to me, it spoke to everything that I do. Uh, I'm very big on youth empowerment and making a difference and touching lives and impacting the lives of our young people. That's practically what I do with my foundation as well and ever since I was crowned as Miss Essay. So I think when they approached me, I was like, oh yes, this is it, you know. But I think the one seed that I want to leave behind you know, um, we'll be going across the country to so many different areas, rural areas, townships, suburbs as well. But the most important thing that I want to leave with these young people is that I want to remind them that they're not defined by their background. You know, I always say a young girl from Rampatele, Limpopo, could be Miss South Africa, could be a businesswoman. My word, what can you be? The world is your oyster. I really think anybody who's, who's going to stumble across this video or what this campaign is all about is the most privileged individual in the world ever. 2013, I had only 70 bucks. I didn't know how to put on a proposal or, or how to lead a team or how, or how to even establish a business. Now, here's a platform platform for you and in, 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 in one platform to really now be able to do that in, 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 in one program. So I really think it's a great initiative for young people to really join in and start upskilling yourself. Shared growth is a, an expression that, that shows what EPSA is doing to empower um, the communities that we serve. And ready to work is, if I can put it, a proof point of shared growth. It is one of the pillars. So within shared growth, we have um, education and skills development. We have um, entrepreneurship. Um, and then we also have um, financial inclusion. And ready to, ready to work falls into the education and skills development um, pillar of shared growth. And that is basically saying we realize that we have issues around unemployment, huge issues, and, and young people continue to go to school. Some of them are qualified, but they are sitting around South Africa and not being able to find work. We, found, we then came up with a program that would then assist them to upskill themselves, to get them a bit ahead of the game and ensure that when they send their CVs out, when they go and they sit in someone else's office and talk about employment opportunities, they are a bit uh, more upskilled and more empowered to, to stand out and hopefully um, get, get a job. But it's also not just about employment. It's about self-employment as well, because not all of us were created to work for someone else. So ready to work has got even in there um, skills to start your own business. How do you handle your own business? And those are things that we take for granted. And as, as, as EPSA, we decided that this was important for us to do. It was an interesting journey going about to get ambassadors, because I'm sure you agree that it's not about popularity, it's not about how popular someone is, it's about what the person represents, the values that they represent as a brand, as an individual brand, and how aligned those are to the APSA brand.